back to the Savage Performance YouTube channel. So today we're going to be doing uh, kind of a DIY install of our two and a half inch inlets, um, in, basic intakes for the 4LT. These will fit um, all S6, S7, and A8 cars. Uh, they are two and a half inch. We've got obviously two of them, PCV and bypass bungs are on there. These kits will come with the two pipes, the two filters, as well as the O-rings and the stainless steel screws to install them. So we're doing the install on this car um, to kind of make it easier to get shots since we were also in the middle of doing uh, full upgrades including turbos. Um, we will probably try to point it out once we get the PCV and everything in how you would have to go about it but for the sake of getting the shots and showing the location of the screws and everything we're going to be doing it while the bender cooler brick and the PCV and everything is out of the car. So install is going to go a little easier here uh, but it's very doable with everything in there just a little harder to see what you're doing. These at times will require depending on the orientation of your turbos if you do run into install issues with alignment um, there are times where the turbo housing will actually need to be turned just a little bit to get the pipes to lay right. Um, it's fairly rare, but if you do have fitment issues, a lot of times that will fix the issue if they are misaligned side to side on the gear. But for now, we're going to get into the install um, and kind of point out some of the differences and some of the variations that you might run into as we install them. We do stock these, so if you are interested in purchasing one of these sets, Send us a message. Um, these are currently $5.89 plus shipping. Um, that is fees included. Shipping generally is around $30 bucks, um, in the US. So send us a message and we will be glad to get a set of these out to you. Okay, so installing these intakes is pretty simple. First thing you want to do, you can see there's a lip right here. You just want to install your O rings. Simply slide right in there. Just push them right in there. Just like that. And that'll seal you up against the turbo housing. Okay, now that we've got our L-rings installed, we're ready to bolt them up to the turbos. So what you wanna do is, you wanna make sure you put the passenger side on first, because of the way the turbos are stepped, if you put this side on, the pipe will come across and you won't be able to get to the bottom bolt on this one. So you want to make sure you put this side on first, which is the shorter pipe. So that goes on just like this. Okay, so I got the second one on as well. Basically the same as the front. One bolt on the bottom, one on the top. 